Right now, the family of a mother murdered right outside of her home in Savannah is heartbroken once again. They waited for years for an indictment, only to find out that this case would be dropped. WJCL 22 News is Andy Cole speaking with the family of Hannah Brown today. Losing a sister, that's your best friend, you, someone you grow up with. You know, all we can think about is the good memories. That's all you've got. Yes, that's all we have is good memories. Remembering is all Karen Wilson can do now. After the case against her sister's suspected killers was dropped because of what the DA calls misconduct. It was heartbroken, emotional. We felt like the court system failed us. Eight and a half years ago, April 2016, prosecutors say Brown was shot and killed right outside her home in front of one of her children. But justice was never quick for Brown's family. They waited nearly seven years for prosecutors to indict Gilberto Ravello Mojica and Rakeem Carlton. I spoke with Wilson back in March of 2023. I almost broke down and cried, but I had to hold it in. And all I could have said is, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Now they're crying for a different reason. Chatham County's district attorney announced Thursday that the case against Mohica and Carlton, plus four other murder suspects, had to be dropped because of mishandling by disgraced Savannah police officers Ashley Wood and Daryl Repress, meaning no one would be held accountable for Brown's murder. And that was a big disappointment to me, and I felt like that they failed us. But all we could do is pray. In a statement released by his attorney, the now former suspect Carlton maintains his innocence, saying in part, quote, being wrongfully accused of such a serious crime has been an incredibly painful experience for Mr. Carlton and his loved ones. We just thank God for allowing us to be here and just keep on going. One step at a time. In Savannah, I'm Andy Cole, WJCL 22 News. Andy, thank you.